A medical mystery that threatened to tear one Texas family apart. When Andrew Huber brought his infant daughter to the hospital, he never imagined that a misdiagnosis could lead to his arrest. ABC's Rena Ninen has the story of a rare genetic condition that led to charges of child abuse. Is that a teddy bear? Bob. Bob. 19 month old Kenley Huber with her bright eyes and beautiful smile is the center of her parents' world. <laughs> yeah. But for over a year, that world was torn apart when Andrew Huber was arrested for allegedly abusing his daughter. It was changing in her diaper just like I would any other day and, and I just heard her hip pop. The Dallas dad rushed Kenley, then three and a half months old, to the hospital. They came back to say that she had multiple fractures and they had to do a whole bunch of x-rays. They had found nine fractures throughout her little body. But what Andrew didn't know was that the police had been called and they suspected him of causing Kenley's injuries. I went into my police interview just bawling and they told me halfway through the interview that Kenley's injuries were at varying stages of healing and that meant that my husband had been systematically abusing Kenley. The 31-year-old father was arrested in August of 2012, charged with second-degree injury to a child and ordered to stay away from his daughter. But wife Bria, believing in his innocence, suspected an underlying medical issue was to blame. We never lost hope that there was, there was an answer to this. I knew I had not hurt our daughter in any way. Bria took her daughter to 10 specialists in five different cities before both her and Kenley were diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, or EDS, a rare inherited connective tissue disorder that makes joints unstable and bones weak. Doctors mistake this as child abuse because they're, they're unaware of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome because it's a very underdiagnosed disease. Just last month, over a year since their ordeal began, the charges against Andrew were dropped and the Huber family was reunited. Their goal now, to raise awareness. If we can get the awareness out of four Ellers danlos uh, particularly to get doctors educated on it, how to diagnose this. And if there's one less family that has to go through this, because we did, then this was worth it. And according to the Ellers danlos Foundation, there are 1.5 million people worldwide who suffer from this disorder. Dan Bannon. It's a good thing that we're bringing it to the forefront. Yeah, that, that poor father thinking he was doing just the right thing and what he should be doing. Can you imagine? Uh, no, I can't. Mm. Thanks, Brina.